Welcome back. We've just had the time skip. We are five years in the future from where we were previously, and we're reuniting everyone quite quickly. In fact, it feels quite strange, quite rushed. It's like you could have the opportunity to explore that idea a bit more. The idea of five years of loss and meeting everyone up one by one, have a moment with people. And again, based on who was left alive and stuff like that, how many scenes you could have, that impact and all that type of thing. But no, we just shove it into one little mission here. <laughs> right, let's get everything done. Let's get this, this stuff dead. I must lead them well. I don't think you need to lead them anymore. Like, they're doing quite well on their own, let's put it like that. I'm still thinking that there's going to be others turn up. You got yourself killed. Bullion. So I feel like there's going to be people turn up here. Maybe to do with this one as well. Let's make this quick. Nosferatu, but can I? Hmm. I'm gonna have to take out the wall. Very well. Do my best. Nosferatu again. Should be fine. There we go. I must keep going. Let's go in there. Hide in there. Right, so. Leave it to me. Hmm. I'm gonna go there and go with a dance there. Because he'll get the XP from that. I'm sorry. She can come up there. Do that. Let's give this a try. Now there's a way forward. She sounds more determined. I like that. Move back a bit. So get the air on you, that'll save her. Not that she'd be in too much trouble, but you know. Just, just in case. Just in case. So if only I could get through that door. If only there was a way to get through that door. There is, but... I think we get that one at least. Can, but not yet. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Let's do that. Let's bring them down. We've been knocked back, fiend. Um, let's see here. Do that. Nice try. You didn't do quite well there, did you, mate? Let's put you over here. So to just bring you in here. Move you there. Still waiting for more people to turn up, and there's still more characters we need. Where's Petra? I still would have loved to have some like separate scenes of everyone. I, I like the group get together, but I would have just liked more significance placed on the fact like like people were still alive and stuff like that, and you could have spoken to them and stuff, but it's like, mm. hmm. We could split into two groups. If we hit them from the north and south, we can trap their leader in a pincer attack. But, fine, we can pretty much destroy everything. Like, I can kill him now. Like, it's, it's, it's not difficult. I can go and get them now. It's just, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. There's no issue here. What do you want about? That helps. I love how he's still a dancer. Lovely hair, though. He's got lovely, lovely hair. That's us just it up. Oh, not bad, not bad. This could turn the tides. Okay, so... For the future of Fodland, 
Indeed. Ooh. I need to equip that shield. That was cool. Let's get you there. It's pretty mad. We got you dead. All right, who's next? See, I look, love her design. Look at her. It's just awesome. And you start heading off to that guy over there. Should be dead, I feel. Yeah. No mercy. I thought he had a mustache then, Ignatz. Like you you grew a oh another shield. Well it's like okay, we'll attack you. Sorry, but I must. It's a case of who's left to attack. It's just the main guy in the middle, right? Yep. Let's do it then. Okay. Sublime creator sword. Sublime heaven. No, I'm not the one you want. Yeah. I guess I've got no choice. Allow me to Tr choice of what? What are you doing? You can become a monster. That was an echoey scream. What's gonna happen? It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? So he revealed his true identity. Catch him and recover the treasure. But, but I killed him. Bit of a Claude falls in battle or Pelado ro, 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 reaches either target destination. Well, he's dead. He's going around that, he's dead. That's for R2. Do that one. You lost that one. Invasion ring, that's gonna be cool. How about arts? Frozen lands. You should yield me a tidy profit. Echoey scream again. I want to learn even more. Ooh. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. We took care of that. Are you sufficiently warmed up, Teach? I wasn't cold to begin with. I'd say so, yes. Thanks to your efforts, Bailiff, all your allies' motivation increased. Cool. Connecting. Still does that five years later. Losing units. Ugh, I'm exhausted. What gives, Professor? <sighs> I was so excited to see everyone again, and then this happens. I'm still tired from the long journey. How did it come to this? Let's all take a moment to catch our breath. Mm, if you've got the spare time to play with those guys, the least you could do is prepare some tea. I mean, I completely agree with Hilda there. Hilda quickly climbing back up to the number one spot. Of my favorite characters, although Raphael is Raphael. I mean, he's a he's 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 just a lovable guy. He's just awesome. He's just awesome. I assume he's still awesome. I don't know. Stuff could have changed in the five years. Maybe he's not so awesome anymore. I don't know. I don't know. But I am liking how the like the music's changed slightly. We've got like the main theme incorporated into this little bit here. Anyway, so gonna be more funny. Blame Claude. Come on, those guys were thieves. We couldn't just let them get away. It seems they've been taking advantage of the church's absence and doing whatever they please here. In any case, um, I'm glad that all of you are well. That's the spirit, Marianne. 
that was fun. In fact, I wouldn't mind romping around some more. So, you were alive this whole time, Professor. I am not surprised. In fact, that is why I came here. And it doesn't look like time has rusted your skills. That's a relief. I'm just glad everyone's alive and well. On that note, let's move this reunion party somewhere else. Now that we've dealt with those violent bandits, we could potentially use this place as our base of operations again. What could you possibly mean by that? I'm talking about the Leicester Alliance taking over Garrig Mach Monastery. After all, it's right in the middle of Fodlan. It's a critical strategic location. Are you suggesting that we fight back against the Empire? Aren't you getting a bit ahead of yourself? The Alliance is in complete discord at present. And, as leader of the Imperial faction of the Alliance, isn't Count Gloucester, your father, the main cause of that discord? I... Yes, that is true. It was inevitable. Our house's territory is close to Imperial land, after all. Had we not consented to vassalage under the Empire, they would have invaded immediately. Naturally. And, to be clear, I have no problem with your house maintaining its Imperial ties until we're sufficiently prepared to revolt. The Empire is the cause of the infighting. If we rid ourselves of them, the situation should resolve itself. That's why I'm thinking we should make this our base, raise up an army, and stir up some trouble for the Empire. Now you're talking. Sounds like fun! So then, Mr. Leader Man, does this mean you intend to rope us into your little scheme? Leader Man, that was what I was thinking. Hmm? Ah, my grandfather passed away. That means yours truly is officially the leader of the Alliance. If we had a more reliable leader, perhaps the Alliance would not have been divided. Think what you will. All I need to know is if you're in or you're out. I'm happy to lend a hand. I won't let those Imperial dogs set foot in Alliance territory. I couldn't bear it if my village got caught up in the chaos of war. I'll fight too. I've got to protect my little sis. I will join as well. After all, House Ordelia was once dragged into an Imperial revolt. It ruined us. Ah, uh, of course. I understand your motivation. I'll fight too. It's time to take responsibility for my own future. I... I don't want to run anymore. I hope I'll be of use to everyone. We can do anything if we work together, Marianne. What about you, Lawrence? Are you going to go back home to your scary father or what? We cannot rely on Claude's scheming to lead us to victory. Therefore, I will remain. It is my duty to ensure Claude does not worsen the situation in the Alliance. All of us are fighting for a different reason, but we share a common enemy. If we don't act, the Empire will crush us eventually. I say we stop them before they have the chance. So, Teach, will you help as well? Of course I will. Also, I'm liking how Marianne doesn't have bags under her eyes anymore, isn't it? Huh. She's getting enough sleep. Um, hmm. I don't like the top one, so I'll give it some thought. Please do. I'm counting on you. Even if your ultimate goal is to find Rhea, it would be better to stick with us as you search. With you on our side, the Church will join us as well. That makes fighting the Empire a moral cause, which means it'll be easier to rally support. Above all, your knowledge and strength are indispensable if we hope to stand a chance against the Imperial Army. Without you, my schemes are nothing. They're just words. Please, take all of that into consideration as you decide. You're really laying it all on the table, aren't you, Claude? Well, all that aside, this place is a mess. We can't very well make our base in a ruin. And repairing it sounds like a lot of work. I wonder if anyone would be willing to help us out with that. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You haven't changed much. Can it be? You were alive all this time? Professor, it is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about you. Guess you lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you, but I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn, everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Cyril? Is that you? You've grown up, kid. Have you been looking for Rhea with the knights? Of course, without Lady Rhea, I don't belong anywhere. Cyril, that's not... Never mind. 
We'll figure it all out. It's just like, he's got taller. Just a little bit. How is the search for Rhea progressing? It has been five years since Lady Rhea disappeared. We have devoted all of our energies to finding her. However, without being able to set foot in Empire territory, we are at a standstill. We had hoped that perhaps the Archbishop would return here on this day. That of the long-awaited Millennium Festival. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Though I don't suppose you had very high hopes in that regard. Even if she were able to return here, with the monastery in ruins, I don't think she would have felt safe enough to do so. Right, Hilda? Yeah! This is an important location for the church. To think you've left it in such a state. Really? Really, Hilda? Alright, let's, let's, let's help, help along with this. Um... Hmm... Like the believers are mourning this destruction. I agree. Maybe we left it alone for too long. We must do something about this. I can clean this place up like new. It's not fit for Lady Rhea like this. And leaving this place in ruins affects the safety of this area, too. Then let's do it. If we all work together, we can restore the monastery to its original beauty. We will require the aid of skilled craftsmen, too. I shall seek out any such individuals who are willing to return to Garrick Mach. Fantastic! I'll figure out how to split up the work, and then we can get started. All right, then. We could also rename the place. Call it the Courageous or something. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Guardian Moon. The Alliance Leader's Ambitions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Claiming the monastery at Garrig Mach as its home base, the Alliance army joins forces with the Knights of Seros. Together, they begin to take up arms against the Adrestian Empire. That was it? Normally that longer. This feels disappointing. I, I, want, I want more stories about like the past and stuff there. Like, it just... It's like, oh yeah, this is happening. Yeah, moving on. Like, but, 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 but the story is in the day. Oh. Each unit has grown over the past five years. You should check their classes and weapons. Indeed. Good work, Hilda. You didn't do much manual labor, but you managed to rope the knights into helping us restore the monastery. Thanks, Claude. But all I did was piggyback on your scheme. I saw your eyes telling me to make some magic happen. We appreciate your assistance with the restoration of the monastery. Oh, please, it was nothing. We're just doing our part as former students. I'm told you even routed the bandits. That job should have fallen to us. I'm sorry for the trouble. Hey, don't think twice about it. We're all allies in the resistance against the Empire, right? The Church is at war with the Empire, but let's be realistic. Wouldn't it be better for the Alliance to eventually submit? The way I see it, the Emperor wants to take over all of Fodlan and destroy the existing order of the world. I can't see her allowing the Alliance to continue to exist. We're in this just as deeply as you are. Actually, we were hoping to use this place as a base. The Empire begs to be meddled with, and we're first in line. Why would you make your base here? Garrick Mach is situated in the center of Fodlan, both geographically and spiritually. We want to secure this location while the Empire is still overlooking it. I see. The Empire doesn't see this place as important at the moment because it's far from the front lines. But if we simply decide that it's ours to occupy, that does nothing to inspire the hearts and minds of the people of Fodlan. Luckily, good old Teach has finally returned to us. If the Professor Rhea entrusted with the Sword of the Creator fights at our side, well now, that's a just cause anyone could get behind. What's more, here we are, working alongside the legendary Knights of Seros. It smacks of divine providence, doesn't it? Can you feel it? I have heard what you have to say, Claude. And you, Professor? Where do you stand? Hmm, I will fight the Empire. I'm not, like, out of the two things here, I'm more interested in fighting the Empire. Hmm, 
On our own, we lack sufficient military strength. But with the help of the Alliance... The Archbishop said if anything should happen to her, that we should entrust the affairs of the Church to you. If you intend to fight alongside the Alliance, then I will follow you as well. Is that acceptable, Claude? Of course. I can't think of anything more reassuring than having both Teach and the Knights on our side. Together, we'll stop the Emperor and her reckless ambitions. Maybe. Raphael would like to speak to you. Is now a good time? Yes, yes. I come forth, Raphael. Great timing, Professor. I was just going to come find you. Triple dot. Are you busy? I have a question about formations. I don't understand them at all. Are the speed of battle and the terrain connected somehow? There's too much to memorize. You don't have to remember everything. I don't? Then what do I have to know? I think I understand the basics. To start, you just... Ah, okay. I think I've got it. Thanks for the help, Professor. Brains and brawn. You've really got it all. With your help, I should have no trouble becoming a proper knight. Why do you want to be a knight when you're such a fine dancer? Huh? Didn't I tell you? My parents were merchants of the Alliance. They died in an accident. That's why it's up to me to look after my little sis. I'm not great with bookkeeping, so I don't think I'd make a good merchant. I talked to Grandpa, and he suggested I become a knight. So I sold all our valuables and used the money to pay my way into the academy. My sis won't survive if I get kicked out. So I can't give up now. Hmm... Hmm, I don't like the second one, so had you no other options? I might have tried being a mercenary if I didn't have my little sis to look after. I probably shouldn't say this, but being a mercenary does sound like an easier life. Mercenaries have no responsibilities, and no one else to worry about. But someone's got to take care of my little sis, so that's out of the question. Serving as a knight in a noble house is more secure. And you don't have to worry about dying, unless there's a war. My sis has been through so much, I don't want her to have to worry about me. Hey, do you have any siblings, Professor? No. Then you probably think I'm missing out on my freedom, having to support her, huh? But working hard for my sister isn't too bad. Call it a burden, call it a challenge. If it makes my sister happy, I'm happy too. You've got my sympathy, really. Not having any siblings, I mean. Anyway, that's why I've got to become a proper knight. It's still adorable. He's still adorable. Support level B. Wait, we still have lessons? Like, really? I like how like, everyone's like, yeah, I'm going exploring. I'm going exploring, go see what happens, go see what happens. Find out. Right, certifications. Let's see here. Lorenz. And you're still, like, what, what, what you should be. This is the thing. I want to make sure they are, what, like, what I, what I want them to be. It's like Dark Knight. It's still Dark Knight. Claude, what happened to you? You're the one who had the biggest change here. You got a special one now? Is that the thing? Is like, one of those ones. That I, like, like how Raphael has... Let, 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 We've got the support as well. We can do them, can't we? We can do loads of them. And there's Dorothy. Petra. So they are still around. But where is my question? That's the question. What? That's my question. That's the... What? 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 Roster. Right. So Claude. So you're a Riven Master, are you? Yeah. It's a unique class. So he's going to be that. We're not changing that. He's going to be the Riven class. So it's like, okay. So all my effort to try and get his horsey riding up completely pointless. That's fine. That's fine. Raphael. The dancer. There's no other thing. Oh, he could have been something else. But no, he's a dancer. That's what he is. Ignatz. Well, you are... Hmm. Maybe get your horsey stuff up. So, we've already sorted you. You're fine. 
Marianne, we're sorted with you. Hilda. Hilda. Does she still do that? Still need your horsies up. Still need your horsies up so you can get your stuff. Look at how amazing she looks. Seriously. Alright, so. Hmm. Leone, I need to see about, like, Caspar and these three. But these three, but you know. Let's have a look here. Leone. What can we have, if anything? Obviously, we can't actually choose one, but I'm just thinking, like, like she's a paladin, which is reasonably good. We can even got the unit experience sorted. Although, I did see that Senpai Blade has found a way to level up the classes and stuff much, much quicker. And it's like, I may steal that at some point in future. Get some of the classes up. So, maybe the Wyvern Lord. Like, Lance, Axe, and Flying. You can see, like, what else we've got here. I've got the Lance riding. So, it's like, I'm just thinking... Maybe another Wyvern Lord or a Great Knight, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'm done. Hmm. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? A Falcon Knight. So if we go Sword and Flying. Sword and Flying would be a good idea. Can I change the goals here? Goals. Sword and Flying. Nope. Custom, 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 custom. Sword. And flying. Okay, that's what you're after. So, what else we got going on here? Do, 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 do. Um, I should just go through roster. Nice. Bailiff, fine. Claude's fine. Lorenz is sorted. Raphael, you're sorted. Ignatz, what do you want? Hmm. So it's Ignatz, Lucephia sorted. Marianne's sorted. Hilda's going to be sorted. She's going to be. It's like she needs horses. So Hilda needs horses. Ignat needs something. I'm not sure yet. Let's actually look at the certifications. So Hilda, your horses. You're already sorted on those goals, aren't you? As far as I know, anyway. Now we want you to be a bow knight, so you need your lance and riding. That's what we want from you. So Ignat. Lance and Riding. Lance and Riding for Ignatz. So, Lance and Riding. Okay. And Hilda, horses, like I said. That's what she's after. That's what she needs. The rest is that I'm not too fussed about these guys at this point. Oh, we got Sylvain. I forgot about Sylvain. Like Sylvain, because I did use him quite a bit, didn't I? Let's see here. Roster. Where is he? Sylvain. There he is. Okay. Hmm. So we've got him focused on certain... We've got well, lances. We definitely want something with lances. Right. So, certifications. Just his hair, though. Right. So... Uh, bows we could get up, and that could be good. But I like the idea of having a weaving lord, a weaving lord. So, accent flying. Could be good. Could be good. I like more flying units, so accent flying. Accent flying for Sylvain, that's what we want here. Accent flying for Sylvain. There we go. Right, okay, so... I'm thinking I might end this part here, and in the next part, I don't know if I'll... I'm, I'm going to go no on the support at this point, because I feel like I should explore the monastery, because maybe we'll be introduced to some of these characters that are in our party, because it's like we haven't had their instructions yet, so it'll probably be when we go exploring. So, we'll end this part here, and in the next part, we'll go exploring. It's basically the gist of that. So, we'll see you then. Ta-ta. For now.